Hi, my name is As Samet and welcome to another installment of Guitar Lessons with me. I'm here to help you become a better guitar player. Now one thing that a lot of people ask me is, how do you learn something new? What are the steps? You know, why, why is it when some, some people when they practice, they keep practicing the same thing and you're like, why does it sound still like I didn't practice at all and it's been like 8 hours and you like still sound bad? Well, the reason is you might just be practicing wrongly. Now, the key to getting out from this rut is knowing a very clear process of how we learn. I've narrowed it down to uh, four steps and this is just my way of approaching it. So how you look at it, you have step one which is I call the I don't know phase. It means that you know someone might ask you, you know, how do you play A minor pentatonic and you look at them like I don't know. Well this step is very easy to get out of. You Google. So you just go online and you Google A minor pentatonic. You'll find out the information. Now if Google doesn't help you out, you find a teacher. If your teacher doesn't know, then you find another teacher or you buy a book. So step one from I don't know to the second step, second stage is called I sort of know. This means you actually know this thing about, let's say A minor pentatonic for instance. You say, you go online and you figure out this pattern and it goes and you sort of know that that's the fingering pattern. So now you sort of know it. But every time a friend stares at you in the face and says, play me A minor pentatonic, you're like If that happens to you, you're definitely in stage two, which means you sort of know it. You don't completely not know it, you know it, but you will still make mistakes. So to get out from this I sort of know stage, you need to get to the third stage, which is I call it I really know. So it means that when people say, play me A minor pentatonic, and you're like, yeah. It means that you've practiced it so much that you can fool about 90% of your friends. The last 10% are your friends who actually practice guitar every day more than you. Now, this, to, to get through that last stage of making sure that even your musical geek friends know that you know this stuff, now this is the last stage, which is getting to stage 4. Now, stage 4 is very different. You know? So, stage 1 was, I don't know, just Google, and you get out of it. I sort of know, which means you can play it, but sometimes you make mistakes. I really know, which means 90% of the population think you're like the best guitar player ever in your town. But the fourth stage is what I call uh, the virtuoso, perfection, flawless, smoothless, smooth, effortless stage. What this means is, this is the stage like people like Steve Vai, when you watch him play, you're like, whoa. Or like you see Tommy Mano, like, wow. Anyone that you like, you, see, you watch them and it looks effortless. Now to get from stage three to uh, from I really know to I, this virtuoso stage is a little bit mysterious. What you need to do is you need to practice so much that it becomes second nature. Now this may take you 20 hours, may take you one day, two days, 10 years maybe. And it will take you a longer period of time. But the thing is you have to practice until you don't have to think about it. Until when you're just like, you know, just hanging out. You don't have to think about it. You know, you could be talking to someone in the camera and staring at them in YouTube very intently. And you're like, yeah, you might have that, yeah, no problem. So you want to practice it so much that it becomes second nature. And when you got there, um, then you're at the last stage where it's really, really comfortable. Now, what does this have to do with learning guitar? Like in just a general thing. You have to figure out whatever you're learning, which stage you are at. Now you have to be honest with yourself. If you play something and you think, I really know it, and then someone asks you to play it, you mess up, then you're probably not at stage three. You're probably at stage two if you can play it already. And what happens is this will inform you about how much more you need to practice and whether you want to put more time to practicing. Um, and that's how I view it. Four stages of learning. So remember, I don't know, I sort of know, I really know, and the virtuoso, perfection, flawless, effortless, awesome stage. So I hope this helps you think about what you're doing, how you're practicing, and just be honest with yourself and you'll just be an even more epic guitar player. That is all. So I end you with, I'll give fewer an epic ah! Thank you, see you next time. Bye.